How do you compare and convert customary units of length into mixed measures? In today's lesson, you will learn how to convert customary units of length into a combination of units called mixed measures. First off, what are mixed measures? Well, mixed measures are units of length or units of other measurement that use more than one unit of measurement. So for example, if I were to describe my height, I would say that I am six feet two inches. The units of measurement I am using are feet and inches, so that would be a mixed measure. First, let's do some review. Again, here's the table of length equivalences. We see that there are 12 inches to 1 foot, 3 feet to 1 yard, 5,280 feet to 1 mile, or 1,760 yards to 1 mile. And inches, feet, yards, and miles are going to be the most common units of measurement that we have in the customary system. As a general rule of thumb, we know that if we were changing from a bigger unit to a smaller unit, we would multiply. So for example, if I were changing from yards two feet, I would take my original number and say that's x, and multiply that by the larger of the conversion. So there are three feet in one yard, so I basically multiply by three. I wouldn't multiply by one, because that gives me the same number. I would want to multiply it by the number of feet there are in one yard. And then that would tell me how many feet there are that's equivalent to the amount of yards that I had, x. If I were trying to change from a smaller to a bigger number, let's say I was changing from feet to yards, then what I want to do is take my number, let's say I have 12 feet, I want to change it into yards, I'm going to divide by the larger of the two numbers here in this relationship should give me 4. And that obviously makes sense if we're changing from smaller to bigger because the bigger number means that there are more feet. Since feet are smaller, we would need more of them to cover the same amount of space. And our answer is going to be smaller because we don't need as many yards to cover the same amount of space as feet. So now let's work on this question. Well, we're seeing that we want to convert 62 inches into a mixed measure. Usually when we convert to a mixed measure, we're going to move up just one in terms of size. So the smallest measure that we have in the customer unit is inches, then feet, then yards, then miles in terms of relative size. Mixed measures are going to use the original unit, inches, and the next largest unit, feet, usually. So essentially we're converting 62 inches into a mixed measure using feet and inches. Well, how do inches and feet relate? Inches are going to be less than feet, so we are taking a smaller number and turning it into a bigger number. And based off of our rule from before, if we're having taking a smaller number, a smaller unit, and changing it to a larger unit, we're going to take our original number and divide. So you see, see there are 62 inches? Well, that's 62. We're going to divide it by how many inches there are in a foot. There are 12 inches in a foot. So we're going to have some question here. We can easily do that with long division. So that's 62 divided by 12. 12 goes into 62 five times. So 12 times 5 is 60. We're left with a remainder of 2. That remainder is what we're going to keep as our original unit. So that'll be 2 inches, and our quotient is going to move up in value in measurement to the next highest value. So 62 inches
is equal to 5 feet and 2 inches. Again, our quotient, 5, the number of whole times that our dividend, divisor goes into our dividend, is going to be the high, next highest measure. And then our remainder is going to be our original unit inches. So that's how we can get 5 feet 2 inches to equal 62 inches. Now we have this problem that asks us to convert 57 feet into a mixed measure of yards and feet. Well, what's going on here? Well, we're taking feet and we're changing it into yards and feet. Well, there are feet are smaller than yards, so we are changing from a smaller unit to a larger unit, which means that we're going to have to divide. And we divide by the number of feet there are in a yard. So to set up that equation, what we want to do is get 57 feet. And we're going to divide that by 3 feet per yard. And now we can set up just a regular long division equation. 57 divided by 3. 3 goes into 5 once, so 3 times 1 is 3. 5 minus 3 is 2, bring down the 7. 3 goes into 27 9 times. So we are left with 19 yards, and there's a remainder of 0. 19 yards, 0 feet, and we can of course simplify that to just 19 yards. Because there's really no point in talk adding in 0 feet, but it's nice to keep in mind just in case we had a remainder. In this lesson, you have learned how to convert customary unit lengths into mixed measures.